Behold the sky view of my collection. Controllers of old, but will they work again? Probably. Yeah, apparently the other camera had caught a case of the whoops. And that's what we had to deal with, I guess. I got this box from eBay and I'm wearing my gloves because eBay every time. Uh, forget what you see around the table. These are probably other projects I'm working on, which means I'm filming a bunch of stuff at once. So that stuff's just going to be there, I guess. Oh, well. Let's go inside and have a look-see at what we have. All right. Got some crumbled up paper. Oh. Crumbled up paper and internals. Got a PS4 controller internals. It looks like the motors, the ribbon cable, the buttons, everything but the motherboard is in this bag. Let's look and venture more. We have more crumbled up paper. All right, we have half a shell. That's what I have is a shell. We have a whole shell. Well, two-toned whole shell. I can't make out what model this is. I'm going to assume... Oh, there's some cracking in the plastic. That won't matter as long as it has screw. Okay, so this needs screws. We have another shell. No screws. Mid-frame is in here, I guess? Sort of? Just another shell. So far we have two and a half shells. More crumbled up paper. More crumbled up paper. A baggie with... Two pretend wires and about three sets of screws. So all of those screws are there. We have one full controller missing screws. Another full controller with a blue clear shell and clear buttons. Alrighty. It looks like there is... I think I can zoom in. It looks like an LED kit is in this controller. I won't know until I cut it on. I don't know if it cuts on or not. Tried giving it some juice. It doesn't cut on, so I'll have to open this to see why it does not cut on. As for this controller... does not cut on either. Let's see what happens if we plug it up. Okay, we gave this some juice and nothing as well, so this one will also need to be opened up to check out. And we have one motherboard. So we have two frames, two motherboards, some triggers, and two batteries. So all together, I believe I have four full controllers and half a shell. So we're going to line up everything and see what we have inventory-wise. All right, this is what we have from the entire eBay lot. There are two controllers. I have yet to open these two to know what's inside. I have two motherboards and two frames and two different casings. Now, they seem like Gen 1 because they have this, sorry, they have this middle section here, which is usually only found on this frame. So if these are Gen 1 controllers, I'm hoping to get one of them working 
so that I can put in those Gen 1 triggers that I have laying about somewhere in my storage bin. All of this looks like parts from these controllers. So once I sort through all of that, it'll be a matter of I will have four functional controllers and I need to figure out what type of shell this is. If this is, because this one has damage on the inside, so I don't know if it's worth anything or whatever. But hopefully by the end of this journey, I will have four functional PS4 controllers. This is just an overview to get the project started. I literally have no idea. This is a two-tone shell. This is a regular shell. So the next video will be going over these two controllers and reassembling these two controllers. That way we'll have the four that we're gonna work on. And once I know that they work, then we can go from there. If they need parts or something, I'll make a note of that. But for right now, this is the beginning. This is going to be an ongoing project, so there's no time frame for this. This is for my own personal use. I'm really certain that this has an LED kit in it. I'm, I can't guarantee it yet, but it, ha it looks like it has a PCB under these thumbsticks. I will find out when I crack that open. But until then, like, comment, and subscribe. And this will be in a playlist so you can follow this journey. Even if you don't want to watch them when they come out, you can watch them all when they're together. And as always, I will see you the very next time I decide to make a video. Mm -hmm.